rescue. And as you can imagine, the recorded comments hit especially hard in the Clippers locker room. KCAL 9's Christine Leahy is here with uh, the fallout and how it's affecting the team. Christine? Oh, well, you have to give Doc Rivers a lot of credit for what he's been able to do because he's taking this team. He's new to the team this year, uh, and the team actually met for 45 minutes to discuss how they wanted to move forward after hearing that audio. Uh, they said, as you just heard from Bobby, that they considered even boycotting the game but ultimately decided that they were going to go ahead and play because they didn't want something like this to get in the way of letting them reach their goal, which, of course, is a championship. The Clippers released a statement as well earlier this afternoon. It read in part, we have heard the tape on TMZ. We do not know if it is legitimate or not or if it has been altered. We do know that the woman on the tape who we believe released it to TMZ is the defendant in a lawsuit brought by the Sterling family alleging that she embezzled more than $1.8 million who told Mr. Sterling that she would, quote, get even. Some of the comments in the audio from TMZ are directed at Magic Johnson. Johnson tweeted that he and his wife will never go to a Clippers game as long as Sterling is the owner. He also spoke with our Jim Hill about the situation earlier today. When these comments came out, it, it, it hurt. It hurt. It didn't hurt me as much personally as it hurt me for all African Americans. If you, if you come to me and say, hey, look, I'm a racist or I don't, uh, I'm, I discriminate against blacks, or I don't like you because you are African. I respect that. I can respect you more by doing that. But don't smile in my face, shake my hand, and then you don't really respect me or want me to be around or come to your games as the owner of the Clippers. So uh, I, I feel bad for Doc Rivers and Chris Paul and all those guys who are African-Americans that play for now Donald Sterling. And then you think about all the people who live in his apartment buildings. Some of them are African-Americans who, so we're putting a lot of money, Jim, in his pocket, but at the same time, he doesn't want us in the arena or, or uh, to come to the Clipper games. And so uh, I think that all of us are outraged. We're all upset who are African-Americans. Well, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver also said that uh, he feels worse for the Clippers, the players, and the coaches that now have to play for him tomorrow night. We're going to have more from Magic, and we'll hear more from Doc Rivers coming up on Sports Central at the bottom of the hour. All right, Christine. Now, before this conference,